All right, in this video, we are going to show how to use the area model to create equivalent fractions. So equivalent fractions means two fractions that look different because they have different numbers, but they really describe the same amount. All right, so let's begin with a, uh, several copies of the same fraction. We've got two thirds and we've got two thirds and we've got two thirds. So all of these are, of course, two thirds. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just zoom in on this fraction right here. And so when I zoom in on just that one fraction, now if I were to take this fraction and just draw a single line going straight across, boom, like that. Well, all of a sudden, we can see that we still have two thirds because I didn't change anything. But all of a sudden, instead of counting just two pieces out of three, we can now see that we have one, two, three, four pieces out of six. So that's four pieces out of six. So all of a sudden, we see that two thirds is equivalent to four sixths because it's the same amount of pink. All right, so if we we're going to Let's see, how am I going to do this? Let's go scooch over. So now let's take two thirds. But this time, let's do, oh, let's do two lines. One, two. I was supposed to make those look equal. They don't look very equal, but pretend they were equal. And then, but all of a sudden, we still have two thirds. It's that same amount of pink. But instead of having two pieces out of three, I now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I now have six pieces out of nine. And let's do this one last one right here two thirds and oh, instead of drawing, cutting it into three pieces, let's cut it into four pieces, I guess. Let's do one. So I'm gonna use three lines to cut it into those four pieces. So I still have my two out of three pieces, two thirds, but now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it's now eight out of 12. All right, so let me zoom out here. And that is a nice summary. We see that 2 thirds is equal to, whoa, 2 thirds is equal to 4 sixths. We see that 2 thirds is equal to 6 ninths, and that 2 thirds is equal to 8 twelfths. And at this point, parents and teachers, we're not looking for the standard algorithm. We're just trying to help students make sense of the idea that a fraction can have a different set of numbers to equal the same amount of shaded in. So we're, we're kind of informally developing the standard algorithm for equivalent fractions. So here, it's kind of the same, but we're, we're, we've, we've got three fifths. I can see that up here. One, two, three, four, five. So I've got my three fifths. And they want us to cut it into 10 equal sized pieces. Well, if I already have five pieces, in order to get 10 pieces, that's pretty easy. All I have to do is cut a single line straight across and all of a sudden, instead of having five pieces, I now have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So if I now have 10 pieces, what's my numerator? Well, it's no longer three. It's now one, two, three, four, five, six. So my numerator is now six. And that wraps up the idea of using an area model to create equivalent fractions. It's pretty straightforward. You start with your original fraction, <laughs> you cut it into one half, into pieces, and then all of a sudden you got an equivalent fraction. So there you go.